if you guys want to be able to chance to win two of the super rare gold Monster Hunter Rise Amiibo, Magnum Marlo and the Palamut, make sure you click the link in the description box down below to enter the giveaway. Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Stories 2. And in this one, I want to quickly take a look at some of the new gear that you can get from the new monsters. Of course, if you haven't jumped into Stories today or you haven't seen the video that we've already uploaded, then there are three new monsters in-game as of today's updates. That is Oroshi Kirin, Solseer Mizutsune, and Elder Frost Gamoth. And if you want to know how to get them, then check out the other video we uploaded earlier today. But in this one, I want to take a look at the gear. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. But to begin with, let's turn our attention to Orochi Kirin. For this one, it is just an armor set. There is, of course, no weapon, as is often the case when you have sort of the subspecies or the variant versions. So for this one, just an armor set, Kirin U Armor Plus. The skills you have in this one are quick, so sometimes you can move before all other attacks and you have a high chance of evasion. You then have Seal Breaker Large, which negates Skill Seal. Again, high chance of activation. And you have Ice Boost XL, so seriously boosts Ice Attack. Now, I will say, I've never been a fan of Kirin gear. I think it looks ridiculous, quite honestly. I think it's just, I wouldn't be seen dead wearing this stuff. And skill-wise, it's not too bad, but I will say, given that this is a very annoying fight, of all the monsters you fight, it's a royal pain, and I honestly don't think the armor is necessarily worth that. So, uh, you know, pick and choose it as you see. Maybe you just want to get it and you want it as layered, if you like that kind of fashion. But I will say, Orochi Kirin gear is not going to be something that I pursue. Turn our attention to the Elder Frost Gamoth armor. I actually really like this one. I mean, partly because it just looks super cool. Anything that you see there that is, of course, turquoise can be colored. So you have some really cool color combos in this one. I think this just looks fantastic. And skill-wise, it's nice if you just want a survivable set. It's got health boost large, so greatly increasing your maximum health. It has self-heal, XL, so you recover a massive amount of HP at the end of each turn. And you have guard chance large, which recovers a great amount of HP after guarding. So basically, if you want to play defensively or maybe you're going in to fight something like Orochi Kirin and because it hits hard and has a boatload of health maybe you want something to keep you alive this might well be useful and if you turn your attention to the Solseer Mizutsune armor it also looks incredibly cool I love this one I love the mask on it honestly this one I mean, I might just get it just for the layered look, even though I am still a Glavinous fanboy. That being said, skill-wise, this has Seal Breaker Large, so it negates Skill Seal. Again, high chance of activation. Self-Heal Large, so recovers a great amount of HP at the end of each turn. And Dancer XL, which increases your speed when at full HP and also seriously boosts attack and defense. So not a bad set of skills. Again, there are better armor sets out there. It is still going to be hard-pressed for me to, say, replace something like my Bloodbath Diablos armor because I just love that one. It is very, very potent, but it is still not a bad set. So if we then turn our attention to the weapons, back to Gamoth, of course, it is an ice monster. They are, therefore, ice weapons. Decent attack on them, carrying ice, decent crit rate, and decent defense. Scrolling through most of them in the background just so you guys can take a look at them. It's worth noting for the bow specifically, you, of course, have a spread and sleep set up here. I've never been a huge fan of spread bows, honestly, but still, that's basically what you're working with. And then similarly, jumping over to the Mizutsune weapons, again, water weapons here. So also, you know, decent attack, not the highest, but not too bad. And a slightly higher percent on the crit rate, some decent defense on the sword and shield. As for the bow, this setup this time around is rapid fire and paralysis coating, which is actually quite nice. So this could well be a uh, potential choice. And that is pretty much it for the weapons. So just a quick chance to take a look at those ones. If you guys want to know whether or not you want to be sort of pursuing them, that is what you're working with. By all means, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to be pursuing any of these. I think definitely for the armor sets, mostly for me, they're just going to be layered because they do look really, really cool. But regardless, there might be something for you. So hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you missed the early one, do be sure to check that out. But otherwise, keep it locked for plenty more. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.